secret aging man singing yeah you know, she's real fine ma for when I, it cracked me up that record to me is so quaint and it's so cool and we got off so bad listening to him play the guitar and we all jumped up and were applauding and giving him a standing ovation when you know when we uh, heard the first playback of it Find my four nine. She's real fine, my four nine. Four Well, I save my pennies and I save my dimes. Yeah, yeah, four nine. Before I knew there would be a time.
job on the highway patrol. On the highway patrol, highway patrol. My hours are long and my pay is low, but I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just doing my job on the highway patrol. I'm just doing my Well, hello there. How's, I'm talking into the camera here, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm him and that's her. We're back after how many? It's been several months. How many months? Yeah. It's been a long a vacation. So <laughs> good to be back with everybody and uh, it's going to be a good show. <laughs> Wife of mine, the special kind. She says that I'm quite a flirter. I've been a good boy all of the time, and I wouldn't do nothing to hurt her. Be suspicious. At the end of my rope, and she better not act too ambitious. With grease from my head to my feet, my hands are cutting caps. I spent all my focus on a broke down drug cause I broke down Solid Alice.
passes. There, okay, settle down, settle down. We don't want too much applause here. Uh, that's my that's my applause sound. <laughs> getting getting the microphone all covered with spit. Hey. What I'm doing, but uh, no, that was so funny. Spray ready. That was so funny seeing uh, seeing uh, Wilburn Brothers show with uh, Harold Morrison on there. You said, "I got this audience trained just right," you know, and they have the applause, the fake applause yeah. on there, and, and he, he go like this. You go, and they go. <laughs> Yep. Shut <laughs> off say, see how well trained I have the audience. <laughs> oh, I love Harold Morrison. What a what an entertainer. And one of the best banjo pickers around that I ever had the pleasure of hearing too uh, was was Harold. I think he was underrated as a banjo player. Harold Morrison. Okay, well, and a good songwriter too. My name's Junior Brown, by the way. This is my sidekick, Tanya Ray Brown. We've been married some <clears throat> 34 years, and uh, and we've been playing music together 35 of those 34 years, <laughs> and uh, and so we're still doing it. We still love it. Uh, can't get it out of our blood. We're a little bit sick of the traveling, and um, of course, with all the the COVID nonsense, it's still the uh, you know, the, the business of playing live music shows hasn't really kicked back in with any kind of confidence. We've got a few shows booked, uh, three to be exact. Um, we should probably announce those, yeah. Tanya. Um, yeah. December 8th um, at the Rose Theater, Columbia, Missouri. Columbia. Kind of close to home. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the 9th. The next night. In uh, Kansas City Kansas at Knuckleheads. Knuckleheads, our old uh, stomping ground there. And then there. the 18th in Edwardsville, Illinois, which is just on the other side of St. Louis. And uh, and then you're going to shoot up to April or something. Yeah, well, yeah. Might as well tell them. I don't know what we have. It's, it's in April. Okay, El it's Campo, in April. El Campo, Texas. El, Cam El, El Campo. Campo. <laughs> the camp. Yeah. Yes. But... Um, the 18th is um, the Widely Theater. I think that's the way you say it. Edwardsville. So you can go to our website and check Edwardsville it out. what? Illinois. Illinois. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure they know. I said that once. They should listen. Oh, listen up. Well, it's a test. I'm sure they are. Okay. And I'm sure they're going to be tipping us real heavy because they're always good to us as far as the uh, gratuities. And we do appreciate those because that keeps us rolling. Uh, Venmo, PayPal, and um, the link is right on your screen there, so it'll be okay. easy to do. Also, they can tip over... Facebook. Facebook, or is it... Yeah, while we're announcing things. It's not Facebook, it's the other thing, too. Stars, uh, Facebook stars. I don't but, know what but it is. But what's the other one? Uh, YouTube. Or well, maybe we don't have YouTube tonight. I'm not sure. No. I've got to check with Matt. Matt Riney, Matt Riney is our faithful engineer, and he's back with us for this show, making it all possible, so we thank you, Matt. And there's something else you wanted to... We have a new album out. We do? Yes, we do. Oh, that's right, we do. Right let let me there. show that. Get it off the slot machine. <laughs> it's not really a slot machine. Okay, here it is. Oh. I'm going to bring it up to the camera so yeah, you can see it. Because I've been promising for months, hey, we're going to put a new album yeah, out now. And here it is. And we finally got it, so... His and hers. There you go. Now, that's the current picture. Now, if we turned it around and did kind of a... Ooh, before and after. <laughs> he cut your head off. There you go. Okay. And you can order those online. Go to the website, juniorbrown.com. Yeah, so anyway, we had a lot of fun getting that, that thing out. We'll be doing some of those songs from that album tonight. <laughs> And uh, as Tanya said, it's called His and Hers. And um, I think somebody was complaining about it. And they said, we can't, we were not allowed to say his and hers. We had to say thems and thems. But, <laughs> but I, okay, I, I did the right thing and ignored that uh, request. Okay. Well, we got some requests up on the board, Tanya. Let's see what we got. Uh, fans, we got fans from Fort Worth. 
Texas, and we got Nebraska fans, New York and Virginia tuning in tonight. I'm glad welcome to see, aboard. welcome aboard, and we are glad to have you all with us. And uh, oh, we do have YouTube and Facebook, Facebook both. So uh, I believe you can tip over those uh, if it's easier for you that way. So we do appreciate those tips again. I think we had a request for an old. Uh, song I wrote. It's old now. I wrote it several years ago, and uh, we had a pretty su successful uh, video with this one. Uh, it was the uh, gal who had been in the My Wife Thinks You're Dead video, Gwendolyn Gillingham, the real tall gal. Remember her? And she, she, was, uh, she was in this video as well, playing with a boa constrictor or something. I, and I was James Bond and flying around with a, <laughs> with a get steel that had to the power pack on the back. I was flying. It, it's pretty wild, and I, I don't know. Can they access? Oh, yes, the, they can. They can access that video on the uh, YouTube, it I guess. So Venom wearing denim by request. Here it is. <laughs> When she walks in Tell him where she's been She'll coil up beside you Trying to shoot her denim skin Once she strikes Deadly bite And there's no antidote She's just venom wearing denim Boy, she go right for your throat She's just venom wearing denim She's a viper dressed in blue Fitting jeans are all she needs to put the bite on you. She's pretty, but she's poison like a copper headed queen. She's just venom wearing denim. She's a nightmare, not a dream. Kissing when she's kissing, saying you're the only one. She'll tell you lies with beady eyes and a big long forked tongue. If you give that gal a diamond ring, you'll get a diamond back. She's just venom and word denim boy. She's always making tracks. She's just venom and word denim. She's a rival just Fitting jeans are all she needs to put the bite on you. She's pretty much she's poison like a copper-headed queen. She's a venom wearing denim. She's a nightmare, not a dream. She's just venom wearing denim. She's a nightmare, not a dream. Oh, Luminous is back. <laughs> Luminous Grin, I believe. Yeah, that's right. I just bet that's not that person's real name. Oh, you think? <laughs> but you know what? I bet they have a big, beautiful smile with a handle like that. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, as you might be able to surmise... <clears throat> We haven't played in a while. <laughs> so We've been lazy. Forgive us, yeah, forgive us for being a little rusty and old. You don't have to tell them. I don't have to tell them. No. But I, they can figure it out. They can figure it out how <laughs> sloppy we're playing. But, uh, no, we're having a good time, and that's the main thing, and uh, doing the best we can here on the old roundup. Okay, and I've got a special 
satirical song that I've been throwing around that I, I just wrote it lately and I might just do a little of that tonight at some point uh, if I dare you know they're not too big on satire anymore they uh, nobody can laugh at yeah I heard laugh a, at themselves I, or laugh at anything there, I heard uh, somebody some comedian had said uh, and he, he, he posted it on the internet and they took it he took his his bit down off the internet because he had made a joke that CNN was getting some new washer and dryers so they could do a better spin on the news or something like that. And they said, we fact checked that. That's not true. They didn't do that. <laughs> said, it's a joke. Joke. Ha. Ah, funny. Okay. We're not allowed to joke anymore. Okay. Well, let's get some of those, uh, some of those requests that are coming in. Uh, this is one. Uh, this is one that. Uh, well, I, my wife thinks you're uh, something or other. It was a. That was a good video for us. Did did real well. Won a uh, CMA award. Uh, you know what CMA stands for. Country. Uh, no, I mean I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. Just gonna do the song. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> To see you, baby. It's been a long, long while. We're both a whole lot older. We've seen a lot of miles, but things are really different now since the good old days. And you've been in some trouble since we went our separate ways. We have to say hello, maybe some other time instead. Oh, you're wanted by the police, and my wife thinks you're dead. Spread the rumor that you had lost your life. At least that's the way I heard. And when I told my wife, I hear you showing up the room and talk is getting round. And I can see that one of us will have to leave this town. If you think that I want trouble, then you're crazy in your head. Cause you're wanted by the police, and my wife thinks you're dead. Just up and disappeared. Nobody knew what happened where you been all the time. Troubles what you looking like, cause troubles where you been. And I can see that kind of trouble you could get me in. You better pay attention to every word I say. Though you want to call the police, and my wife thinks you're dead. commission 
And I think that's a better title. My wife thinks you're dead. I, my wife wants me dead. No, that, that, wouldn't be, that wouldn't be very good, I don't think. But, uh, oh, listen, we got some more of those requests. And I really, it makes me feel good that you are requesting songs that I've written. Just because I have written them does not mean I remember them. But I do my best. And uh, how about singing one for the folks, Tanya? What, what do you think? Uh, something about that handyman? Okay. Give her a shot. <laughs> Would you say cold? <laughs> Who's cold? My cold. <laughs> oh, you're cold? What about your cold? Are you cold right now? No, I'm not cold. Do you have a cold? I have a cold. Oh, have a cold. Well, <laughs> forgive her, her. Matt gave it to me. Matt, get, he, Matt he had one two weeks ago. He, he, but, yeah, he, are you one of those people that drive around with three masks in the car alone? No. Oh, okay. Well, that wouldn't it, be me. All right, just checking. Okay. All right, here we go. This is one off the new album. Yes, it is. It is, so pick it up at your local... Uh, JuniorBrown.com Flea market <laughs> Stop it It hasn't been out long enough You know to, we need to, to get some of these at, uh, To the Ernest Tubb record shop Because they always sell our stuff yeah, so they, yeah. my, we'll, get, we'll get some up there for Let's you Let's give one out to the Top Tipper Top Tipper gets a new album Yep, That's right Never been played <laughs> together I'll be right over darling I tell you what okay <clears throat> the door is always open the do well, it, <laughs> it better be for me that oh, wait, is. You're, you're already there <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't leave home much <laughs> I'll just go out to the garage <laughs> but uh, anyway good job and uh, we're gonna should we do another one off the the new record or uh, you want to you want to go ahead and do that uh, lifeguard Larry? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get that one going. We usually do that at the... Oh, it is kind of like the one we just did. How about uh, All Fired Up? Hey, 
to look getting low down when you're looking to get thrown in the can. I drive a nine mile an hour getting speeding tickets from the man. Well, I'm just mad about this girl. But she's gone and I'm mad at the world. I just laid a patch of rubber down the road about a quarter mile long. I'm all fired up, I'm all fired up and lonesome I got a chip on my shoulder, and I'm acting just a little too tough yeah, I've been revving up the motor, and tonight I'm gonna strut my stuff I've been roaring like a lion, I'm tired of all this crying I've been roaring <laughs> And I'm tired of all this crying What are those words? <laughs> You're asking me Oh yeah, I got it now Okay, good And I'm tired of being kicked around Like a little whooped pup Well, I'm all fired up I'm all fired up and lonesome Bear with me now Fired up and lonesome and I'm on a spree A woman ain't a gonna get the best of me If you're gonna hang around then I gotta warn you There's no telling what a lonesome fool can do I'm getting all dressed up But I got no place to go But I know a thing or two about driving down a long lonesome road just doing the best I can And I'm trying to take my licking like a man But I'm tired of all this feeling like I'm gonna be her sitting duck Cause I'm all fired up I'm all fired up and lonesome A woman ain't no gonna get the best of me If you're gonna hang around then I gotta warn you There's no telling what a lonesome fool can do Not a mean streak of lightning It's going up and down my spine I've been spending all my money Just to get that woman off my mind What she done to me I'll burn a roll in my pocket With a roll of my last two bucks Cause I'm all fired up I'm all fired up and lonesome I'm so fired up I can't remember the words to the song I wrote But you get the idea I'm all fired up and lonesome Feeling my wild oats. Think I'll take me a little sightseeing trip. We made it. You're fired. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of the show. You can just kind of mess up, and people, people think uh, you messed up. Well, they, they, it's okay. You work it in like Dean Martin, of course. I ain't no Dean Martin, but uh, I, I have that in common with him. Uh, he just kind of went with it, you know. No rehearsals. He messed up a lot, and he made it part of the part of the show and laughed. That's what you got to do. What are you What are you doing down there, Tanya Ray? Oh, have you gotten a, a a message from Matt to change something? Okay. How's that? Is that any better? 
get, uh, the, just a few words or get, get. No, just kidding. I was just fun in there. All right. Does anybody remember a song called Okie from Muskogee by Merle Haggard? I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there that remember that. And, uh, are you turning up the amp a little? Oh, the vocal, I thought uh -huh. it was. I got you. Um, and this is a satire. I hope nobody will take any offense to a satire song. Um, of course, Merle Haggard had that song. And, and it was a satire when he... We don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We don't take our trips on LSD We don't burn our draft cart on Main Street Cause we like living right and being free And I'm proud to be an Okie from Muskogee Remember this one? Place where even squares can have a ball. Anyway, you remember that song. I wrote a little satire of that to kind of apply to some of the modern subject matter. And I hope nobody takes offense to this. It's just a joke, folks. Just a joke. We'll find out. <laughs> Don't send us any mail. We won't get it. All right. E. F sharp is the passing chord, and then we go to B. Yeah, we're going to modulate okay. on this one. Uh, hold her down over there. I'm going to need all the, comp I'm gonna need all the uh, concentration I can get. Sophia, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Little kids smoke marijuana in Shikogi. It's called. Rokey from Shikogi. Teachers teach them porn and CRT. Bullets fly because police have been defunded. We like all the criminals going free. I'm proud to be a Wokey from Shikogee. A place where Lincoln's statues gotta fall. We still burn old glory down with the courthouse. And angry parents are the biggest threat of all. Crazy kooks reintroduce race segregation. Equality and merit won't be seen. Teachers are the dumbest thing on campus. Kids here study Marxist anarchy. And I'm proud to be a Wokey from Chicago, a place where Lincoln's statue has to fall. We still burn old glory down with a courthouse, unfortunately. Parents are the biggest threat of all. We're all Loki in Chicago, USA. A happy little commentary on the way things are here. 
Uh, maybe that was good that you messed the chords all up on that. <laughs> maybe it needed that. <laughs> oh, gracious. yeah. Oh. Woo. So, uh, anyway, there I'm it is. I live in the land of the free. There's my, uh, there's my new song. <laughs> Matt's going, <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, all right. Big Tiny wants to know the story of Broke Down South of Dallas. Big Tiny's with us? Big Tiny's there. Big Tiny, good to have you on with, watching the show again, buddy. It's, uh, I'm glad, glad you're back with us. And uh, Big Tiny is a very frequent uh, visitor, contributor to our show, and we've always appreciated that. And uh, he, uh, he, he always, just about all, all the time, tunes us in and lets us know he's there, requests some songs. And he'd like to know what the story broke down south of Dallas. Um, well, I used to, you know, before they had cell phones, if you broke down on the side of the road, buddy, <laughs> it was your thumb. And, uh, of course, back then it was safer to pick up hitchhikers, and it was safer to hitchhike than it is now. Uh, another sort of sad commentary on the way things are now. But... Um, and we just, if you, broke, if you broke down, that was it. And, of course, I'd drive these old cars. Over. They were Cadillacs, but they, they were old Cadillacs. <laughs> and I'd run up and down the road in those things. And uh, I think it must have been one of those trips that I took uh, to play music somewhere and uh, broke down south of Dallas. Uh, I always liked that, I think I liked that song, um, and it might have given me an idea uh, the sort of sound of the title. A lot of times I, I just like the sound of titles and I'll write a title and then I'll write a little story around the title. Like my wife thinks you did. I came up with the title first and wrote the little story and it was, it was a funny title and it made for a funny song. Uh, hillbilly Hula Gal, same kind of thing. You know, what would a Hillbilly Hula Gal, what would, would she do, what, you know, how, how would that go, you know, some gal from Tennessee trying to do the hula in Hawaii. So it, it sort of begged to have a story written behind that title. And I think I'd, uh, I'd heard a song by uh, Bob Wills called uh, Somewhere South of San Antonio. I think that was the name of it. And I liked the sound of that, the way the words rolled off. And then I thought, broke down south of Dallas. And uh, it uh, just kind of kind of worked for me. And... Uh, I remember I was cooking pork chops, <laughs> and I didn't. Have, and I had a little, uh, I had a little apartment. I only had, I think I had one frying pan, without a handle on it, and I think one saucepan. And that was about it. I didn't have any uh, paper towels, so I took the pork chops out and I'd put them down on, on the paper bag that I bought the grocery bag. And that got the grease off the pork jobs, and I sat down and wrote that song. So that's a pretty good explanation. <laughs> little time capsule of uh, back in my younger days when I was in a cocoon, waiting to, waiting to turn, well, hoping I'd turn into a butterfly. <laughs> and a few years later, thank God I did, uh, thanks to uh, Mike Curb and uh, Bobby Cudd. And, uh, well, Tom Davis is... And, of course, Tanya Ray. I couldn't have... Couldn't have gotten any success without getting with Tanya. Was wanting us to play Broke Down South of Dallas. Tom, Tom Davis, uh, he must have missed the Yeah, the he must have tuned in late because we played that the first song. Well, Tom, we're going to, we always start off with that. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that for you here in a little bit uh, towards the end of the program, if that's all right. And uh, we'd be glad to do that again for you. And, and thank you, Doug Jankowski. Doug Jankowski, thank yeah. you very much. Um, uh, they are availing themselves of the opportunity to tip us, and we hope hope uh, Appreciate it. the rest of you will follow suit with that on PayPal and Venmo and uh, various other ways that you can send us a gratuity. We do appreciate it. Oh, I got a star on my car and a one on my chest. And I hit the camera like to the rest. I'm a guy who's the boss on this highway. Watch out what you're doing. If you break the law, you hear from me, I know. I'm working for the state, I'm the highway patrol. Well, y'all know me when you see me, cause my door's painted white. With my 
my sirena screaming in my flashing red light. That's right. When I write you out a ticket, then you better drive slow. I'm just a doing my job. I'm the highway patrol. I'm the highway patrol. The highway patrol. I'm the highway patrol. Fast like you shouldn't do. You can bet your boots. I'm coming after you. You want to race? Then get on the race track. Or maybe you try to run away. I'm gonna bring you back. Turn if you ball a speeder driving slow. Just to doing my job. I'm getting out of control. I'm the highway patrol. The highway patrol. Hours long and my pay is low. I'll do my best to keep you driving slow I'm just to do my job on the highway patrol Here they come, I'm just doing my job On the highway patrol
alone When I call you on the phone For just a moment It's like you're right here with me cleaner. I think it's about, a, about an F sharp. <laughs> it's headed this way, isn't it? Oh, it's getting closer. <laughs> All right, well, we just cut through. Matt, is that going to be a problem? Are we hearing the vacuum cleaner quite a bit in the background? He'll, he'll let us know if it's a problem. <laughs> All right. Mm, all right. Well, let's answer some of these other requests. Nope, doesn't matter. Okay, Very di directional microphones. That's great. Okay. <laughs> change the melody on those Christmas songs. Yeah, peel some taters or semi-crazy or... Yeah. yeah Let's go ahead and peel some of those taters. This is by request. Peeling taters. <laughs> I don't know who requested it, but man, they've got good taste, don't they? I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was one I wrote on the spur of the moment in a recording session back in, uh, for, uh, I believe it was the Long Walk Back album. It's on there. Yeah. <laughs> We 
got a request for Joe, the singing janitor, but first let's try this. That's the original version. <laughs> I left home for the very first time When I was four years old, I'm a freeborn man My home's on my back I know every inch I have Every foot of back road, every mile of railroad track. I got a old guitar. I'm 
Reborn, Reborn. that well you don't have to stop clapping go ahead go ahead I'll join you <laughs> thanks a lot well that's a lot of fun that freeborn man I cut that a little short because we are as I said a little slow we haven't been playing in uh, months and months and months so I think we did pretty good con considering that and uh, speak for yourself she says. <laughs> I'm not saying a word <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how about we do an, uh, one, another one off the, the new record? What do you think? Or you want to try that duet? Oh, let's warm up to it. Let's warm up. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little more warming up to do. We can answer another request on the board here. Uh, Still Life with Rose. That's a good one. Wrote that one for the... Which record was that? Was oh, that, no, you uh, have to ask Matt. Oh, no, I'm asking you. <laughs> I don't ask me. I think it was Semi Crazy album. Okay, Semi Crazy. We'll Still with Life with Rose. No, it was the Get With It. Not to be con confused with Gwit With It. The Get With It album. That's what it was from. Still Life with Rose. Here it is. <laughs> Still life with Rose And I remembered how Rose rescued me From your heartaches long ago Still life with Rose is better Than life with you could ever be You made me picture perfect world. kept our crowd i tell no, you what we're, we're they're head. they're just they're glued to us like <laughs> mucilage on a mucilage 
on an envelope. That's what they used for, never mind. Nobody uses mucilage anymore. You said keep it clean. No. Does anybody know what mucilage Not is? Not me. I thought you were talking about some cold medicine. Mucilage. <laughs> no, that's, that's something. Mucinex. Yeah. This mucilage is, it was made from horses hooves. It was glue. Oh, yuck. Yeah. Well, you yeah, can see, know, I'm I dating, know. I'm dated way back to the 60s. You're there. old. Yeah, I'm old. Can't <laughs> help it. All right. They're sticking to us like glue. I, I love, love it when a crowd, and we can hold that crowd for at least two songs. There's Tom. He wants a, a blues Tom, song. A blues? Well, I can't play any blues, but I can make him feel terrible. It, it makes it me feel terrible. Works, works out to the same thing. I want to try that. Uh, I want to try that duet if we can go ahead and do that because I, I would hate to get through the show Are without doing it. Do it. Yeah, it's uh, it's one that uh, that I I started writing this uh, wow about 30 years ago and kind of didn't finish it. We 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 played around with it a little. We liked it, but then recently we pulled it out and thought, you know, this would make a pretty good song if we could finish it. So we we finished it and recorded it on the new album. I'm going to show them the new album. One more time. His and hers. You got it upside down, my love. <laughs> That's sideways. Keep rotating. There you go. Now you got it. <laughs> oh, That's after. That's before. <laughs> it's before and after his and hers. Oh, my goodness. And you can get that on our website, juniorbrown.com. <clears throat> And uh, we're going to be given the top tipper of the show. We'll be receiving a free one of those. Signed. Signed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll put some mucilage on that when we send it to you. <laughs> Nobody says mucilage anymore. Okay. All right. Do you remember LePage's? LePage's glue? Yes, I Okay. Do. Well, yes. you're, you're as old as I am almost. So. I know it. That was mucilage. All right. And it was, you know what color it was? It was that orangey, orangey yellow, yellowish stuff. It. Yeah, and that was uh, hor had it. horse's hooves. Right. And it had a little applicator on it, yes. like a little yep, rubber it. thingamajig mm -hmm. that you'd... People are like... Play Get some to music. the song. Okay, this is called We Don't Know Nothing About Nothing But Falling in Love. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Classic movie buff, but you don't know all that much about old movies. You never heard of Mary Pickford, Chaplin Keaton, Charles Bickford. You're barely able to see Gable's kind of groovy. You're an expert in science, but you put too much reliance on a theory that dearie just won't hold up. I guess we don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love. You're on some kind of mission to be an expert mathematician, but your figures never seem to compute. When I draw attention or even try to mention it, you just tell me that my figure's kinda cute. Well, I'm really not that smart, but I can tell you heart to heart that this equation's gonna fit just like a glove. I guess we don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love. No, we don't know nothing. That's really something, it's a handle worth bragging about. Cause if we don't know nothing but good, good love and all the rest of it can work itself out. I can't say much for our thinking, but if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're thinking about what I've been thinking of. That we, we don't, don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love.
country major, but a poorly versed stranger to I am Big Pentameter. You think that Walt Whitman is a guy who makes the chocolates that they put in the sampler? Oh yeah. Well, your idea of music is watching my who's it scream and watching my call it about what? I guess we don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love. Oh, we don't know nothing, but that's really something. It's a hand over dragging about. As if we don't know nothing. But good, good love and all the rest of it can work itself out. I can't say much for our thinking, but if you're thinking what I'm thinking, then you're thinking about what I've been thinking of. That we don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love. No, the world will never wow us. Intellectual prowess. About the ignorance we'll never rise above. I guess we don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love. We don't know nothing about nothing but falling in love. Falling in love. We're falling in love. We're going to go to a commercial right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, folks. Oh, the crowd's getting bigger. <laughs> All right. They're, they're starting to get a little unruly. We might have to get the uh, fire marshal in here. They're getting pretty, pretty rowdy. Um, I was going to make a joke about masks, but I think I'll just hold off on that. Okay. Just do that. <laughs> Well, what have we got left to, over here for some requests? Uh, we still got some on there. Um, you got a blues. Oh, we got that. You heard about the singing brakeman. You might have seen a singing cowboy, too. Well, I'm Joe, the singing janitor. I'm at a theater near you. I'll also be appearing at the concert you'll be hearing, but I won't be singing with a band. I'm Joe the singing janitor, cleaning up for the folks getting by the best I can. I'm in your school, in your pool, in your office, in your home. I always give you service with a smile. Most folks never think that a janitor needs a little kindness once in a while. I'm Joe the singing janitor So go easy on a guy Try to make a life easy for you Or two. I ain't on the 
stay just a dirty old floor And I got a lot of work to do I can't carry a tune in a bucket But I carry that bucket with pride I'm Joe the singing janitor Yeah, I'm the man behind the mop I make everything sparkle and shine I'm in your school, in your pool, in your office, in your home And I always give you service with a smile Most folks never think that a janitor needs a little kindness once in a while I really don't care if you think I'm a square or my hat down to my shoe I'm Joe with a singing janitor Go easy on a guy trying to make life easy for you. Yeah, go easy on a guy trying to make life easy for you. Thank you, Joe, the singing, swinging janitor. <laughs> All right, we will get to that. I tell you what. <clears throat> There's not a lot of songs, I, I would wager, there's a not, not a lot of songs out there about janitors, let alone singing janitors. No. Nope. So, <clears throat> kind of cor cornered that market. What, is he putting Thank money? You. Money. Appreciate we it. like money. Thank you very much. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, appreciate you a lot. And speaking of money, we are playing for tips tonight, folks, over the Internet. So feel free to go to Venmo or PayPal or um, the um, YouTube and uh, Facebook. And, Facebook or, and there's some, some, I think there's other ways to tip as well if it's easy. It's right there on your screen, so um, it should be easy to throw us a few bucks, and we do appreciate that. So we're going to answer that request from Tom Stevenson. Tom's been with us a lot before, hasn't he? Tom, we do appreciate you tuning in and, uh, and being so supportive of what we do. So we will try and do one right now. Do. I might be down 
Get just as wild, just as wild as you city folks do. that drummer <laughs> all right well I hope I gave you the blues because it sure didn't make me feel any better <laughs> oh that's for Tom Tom we hope you enjoy that one off our get with it album 
Get Steel Blues. The Get Steel is this thing right here. This is the Get. This is the Steel. So if you're wondering what that's all about. You got eight minutes. Eight minutes? Yep. But I have so much more to say. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> You'll have to save it for home. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, look in there. Hang up and drive. Um, so we are, we are, yeah, we're answering the requests, and we do appreciate those. Mm -hmm. Of course, we appreciate the tips as well. You still got to do think, Broke Down for... Yeah, I think we will close out with that when we do our little surfer's melody, medley. Right. And... Um, but right now, I would like if you would sing one of the songs you did on the album that I like a whole lot, Sunshine's Back in Style. Would you do that for us? I'll give it a whirl. How about the other one? Will you do that one too? Probably not. Is that pushing it? That's pushing it. Okay, well, <laughs> she's got several she sang on the, on the record, and uh, of course, we'll get them next week. When are we coming back? Are we coming back uh, I don't know. Saturday? That's how we know, usually maybe. do it. Let's, let's see if we can do it Saturday. Let's tentatively say we will see you back here Saturday. And uh, this was another one that, uh, that we wrote several years ago and didn't finish. And then finally when it came time to do this album, we, we uh, added a verse or two and it came out, came out pretty good. Um, the blues are out and sunshine's back in style. All right, here it is. You make the dark clouds stay away, and I keep looking forward to each new day. Hold your rod in, back in fashion, wearing a smile. I'm so glad I've got you for my friend, and together we
I can't tell if I saved that ending or ruined, ruined it more. It. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes it don't matter, right? Okay, good job. Sunshine is back in business. Back in style. Or back in town. Maybe not. We have to do Highway Patrol again. <laughs> we just did Highway Patrol. It's up there on the board. And they want to hear it again. Uh, Arizona. No, it's this guy, Frank. I can't read without my glasses. But Frank, Frank Sun- Shankwitz. Shankwitz for the Arizona Highway Patrol. Okay, okay, no, we don't have to, he says. And we're going to dedicate... Oh, we're going to dedicate a song to him. Yes, indeed. Uh, so let's... Uh, Let's do Broke Down South of Dallas again. Okay. Uh, for the guy who requested it. <clears throat> Arizona Trooper, Frank. And we're yeah. Gonna, okay. And we're going to do Broke Down South of Dallas. I said that. Oh, you did? Well, I said Highway Patrol. Oh, okay. Arizona okay. State Trooper. What's that? Nothing. Oh, I, I heard it. It was something under your breath. <laughs> Speak it into the mic. Don't hold back. No? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. All right. Now, who, who requested the Broke Down South of Dallas again? Uh, I don't know. Do you remember? Tom Davis. Tom Davis? Yes. Okay. Well, this is, uh, this is for both. <laughs> show and for our live audience too and your kind donations to our electronic tip jar we do appreciate that a lot it keeps us rolling till saturday night tanya ray brown junior brown signing off we thank you very much
Thank you, Matt Riney, for making this all possible, and we will see you Saturday night. Tanya Ray Brown, Junior Brown right here. <laughs> Thank you.